you say that a strong desire for enlightenment is necessary and at the same time you are also telling everyone to be quiet. How can these two coexist together? Can one have a strong desire for freedom and at the same time have an absolutely quiet mind? It's not the strength and weakness of the desire. It is your weakness and strength, how you are holding it, and you have something else to do at the same time. Therefore, you are looking at some other desires also. Therefore, that is the strength of other desires. So if you check those desires, which are stronger or which are weaker, you check both the desires, weaker desire and stronger desire, this alone will remain as it is, you see. Do we need to believe in anything, Papaji? Do we, for example, have to believe that the Guru's words are correct? Do we have to believe that we can attain freedom? Do we have to believe I am already free? What are the minimum number of things that we have to believe in? Yes, of course, you need faith. Faith in your own self, that I am free. If you at all want to believe in faith, this is the best faith you can have, I am already free. When you can have a faith, I am suffering, I am bound, why not to have the best faith, then I am free? What difference does it make? So if one has absolute conviction that I am free, then sooner or later that conviction will mature into an experience. Is that what you're saying? Not the experience, not the experience. Experience is with something else. So this desire will vanish. This desire will vanish itself. This desire for freedom will vanish. Knowing it, that it, it is freedom itself. <laughs> but since you were engaged in other desires, they have left you. So it remained what it was.